My son is called Tajew. He's nearly one year old. Yeah, when my son was born, uh, there was uh, a very severe drought. In fact, a few, uh, like few days after he was born, we have to move with my cows to another place called Sultan. There was no even milk to feed him because it was so dry. When my son was born, I had like 30 cows. I lost like over seven cows because of the anthrax. Five months ago, my cattle came back and uh, I was only milking one cow. So now because of the drought, uh, they have not given birth. So even up to now, I'm being forced to buy milk. Well, I'm not even very sure whether we will experience a short rain or even long rain next year. So I'm wondering that maybe the few livestock that I have, they might even die. Beginning of this year, some people just come around and uh, start uh, collecting bones. We didn't even know where they were taking, and we were just like telling them, "Can you take away?" Because they are just like uh, making us to remember the the, the the bad times that we went through. And uh, later, we just come to realize that these people were selling these bones, and they were making money out of our bones. When I hold my little boy. I have a very strong prayer in my heart that I want him to have a better education, more than, a better than the one I went through. When I started my schooling, I started under a, a, a tree. I was writing on my leg. The teacher used to write on the ground. But I'm just hoping that he'll be able to go to a better school and, uh, and, and go a better life that I went through. Tadio is a Maasai name, which means being saved. What was on my mind when we were giving this little boy this name is because we have undergone through many challenges, many hardships. And I think he's the person who is coming to save me from all this trouble that I went through.